Theta and IOTA are, are what we call secondary Trump asking bids. And all that means is that they are never used to kick off an asking bid sequence. There is always another asking bid first before you use Theta or IOTA. Normally, that would be either Alpha or Beta, but it can also be Delta. Okay, so that's in the simple system. In the complex system, uh, it doesn't quite work like that. Um, but uh, you don't need to worry about that. So Theta and IOTA are, are very common asking bids for reasons that I'll explain shortly. They are actually more common than Alpha. Okay, so the, the most common time that we use Theta um, and or IOTA <coughs> Uh, where we've used a low level beta. So if it goes one club positive and then a low level beta, if uh, opener bids a new suit over the beta response, then that will be theta in principle. Okay, so you've got an example there one club, one heart, one no trump beta, two diamonds, three controls, two spades. Two spades is now theta in spades. Responder showed a heart positive, one no trump was low level beta, two diamonds showed three controls, and then a new suit by opener is going to be a theta bid. The second time that we can get a theta is if a primary asking bid, okay, i.e. alpha or delta, gets a negative one or two step response then an immediate repeat ask in the same suit is theta. Okay, uh, that, that uh, applies to alpha. Strictly speaking, a repeat delta in the same suit is a delta, not a theta. But as you'll see in a minute, the two are essentially identical. And as I've said there, a repeat in a different suit is always iota. Um, it's not theta. If you're not confused yet, then I've failed miserably. But essentially, um, iota and theta are very closely allied. And iota is simply a slightly crushed version of theta. OK, originally we only had theta. Um, there was only theta and iota didn't exist and Jason Hackett and I decided that there was absolutely no point having a set of responses that included the possibility of responder having a singleton or void when they'd shown a balanced hand and the one step response to delta and as you'll see in a minute the one step response to theta is exactly the same shows a singleton or void and if it's if the bidding has started one one club, one spade, showing a balanced hand, there's absolutely no chance that responders got a single null void because they're balanced. And so we eventually created IOTA as a contracted form of theta. Um, and more on IOTA in a minute. But uh, the scale for IOTA is almost the same as for theta, but it combines the first two steps. That's essentially what it is. Um, so if responder is shown a balanced hand, then any bid that would normally be theta is actually iota, not theta. Um, and as you'll see in a minute, a, a, and I've, as I've said in practice on the, uh, um, in the previous splurge of text, uh, a repeat alpha or delta in a different suit is always iota in principle, not theta. Um, and again, I'll explain that in a bit more detail shortly when we start looking at IOTA. It might be, but either way, it's going to be confusing, Sanya. Um, 
we decided it's easier to say that it's a theta. A repeat alpha in the same suit is theta. A repeat alpha in a different suit is iota. Um, if I say they're all alpha, that means I then have to explain all of the alpha scales, including all of the theta scales, in in the in the page on alpha. That's why I don't. It's easier to say once that that a repeat alpha in the same suit is a theta. And then you go and look at theta and that explains it all. And that a repeat alpha in a different suit is iota. And then you go and look at the iota scale. Um, having, having an alpha in one suit using one kind of set of responses and then a repeat alpha in a different suit using a totally different set of responses that work completely differently uh, was just going to be too difficult. Easier to keep um, delta, theta, and iota as they are. Okay, any questions so far on when a bid can be theta? Don't worry too much about iota yet because we will come to that in more detail in a minute. But anybody got any questions about when a bid is theta? Okay, technically, a repeat delta in the same suit is a is a delta. A repeat, you see, a repeat delta. If you'd rather think of it as a repeat theta, then that's fine. But really, probably easier to think of it as a repeat delta. But a repeat delta in a different suit is iota. Because iota does use a different scale to delta. Okay? You can only, you can't have, because I, delta is a primary trump asking bid. And iota is a secondary trump asking bid. In other words, iota always comes after a different asking bid of some sort, whether it's beta or delta or alpha. Okay. All right, let's have a look at the steps. This is really just repeating because it is exactly the same as for theta. It is. <laughs> You're quite right, John. No, it's okay. I, I do uh, I do apologise. It is it is confusing the first time you you look at it, but there is it, these are all questions that that Jason and I asked ourselves way back in in the mid 80s when we were coming up with OCP, and uh, we thought of all these questions about just having theta and making Sorry, just having um, theta, basically, and having theta in all sorts of different circumstances um, and how to call it. And we decided that the way it is now was the least confusing combination that we could actually come up with. OK, so the responses to theta are absolutely identical to those for delta. There is no difference whatever. Um, So the, the rules for suit agreement for theta are also identical to those for delta. So a four-step response agrees the suit. A, a one to three-step response to theta doesn't agree the suit. Okay.
So the first the first example there shows a five step theta response, which shows four small. Um, the second response shows a, uh, a two step response that shows a singleton top honor or too small. But there, in, in the first example there, you had a low level beta and then uh, theta. The second example, you had an alpha ask over one heart. That got a negative response and then a repeat alpha in the same suit, which is a theta. So then responder shows exactly or almost exactly what they have. And as you'll see in a minute, if you had three spades over three clubs in that in that second example, that would be a repeat theta in the same suit to show whether responder had a singleton top honor or a doubleton, because it might make a difference to Trump's solidity if openers got something like ace king jack ten to seven. So as I mentioned before, the, the rules for Trump agreement with theta and delta are slightly different than the ones for alpha. Hello, people. Oh my God, she's back. <laughs> um, okay, so with alpha, you need to have a holding of uh, three to one top honor or four small in order to initially agree the suit. With uh, theta, that kind of a holding is good enough, but also two top honors doubleton is also enough. So it's slightly different. So if we have, whether it's a positive or a negative response in practice, a repeat theta in the same suit is always asking for clarification of exactly what uh, responder holds. As I explained last week, if the initial response to theta showed two possibilities, we always show the shorter of the two alternatives that they might have had with the one step response and the longer with the two step response. But whether the initial response to theta was a positive or a negative response, a repeat theta in the same suit always sets the suit as trumps, whatever, even if it was a singleton or a void as the initial uh, response. A repeat theta in the same suit always sets that suit as trumps. So as I've said before, normally repeat thetas in the same suit are only ever below game level. However, um, unlike with Delta, um, with Delta, we can treat a repeat theta in the same suit at game level um, as being a repeat, a repeat Delta because we know that opener is 24 plus if they've used delta. So if we've got a naught to seven hand, but we've actually got a reasonably good seven count, then we are entitled to treat that repeat delta at game level uh, as a repeat delta, even though it might have been intended as a potential sign off. That's not the case with theta. With theta, uh, unless we have already established slam values. So if it goes one club, one heart, one no trump, for example, two no trump showing 12, uh, six controls. Okay, now we might expect that we've possibly got slam values. So in those circumstances, we might allow 
that a repeat theater in the same suit at game level is actually going to be a repeat theater, not a sign off. But if we haven't established slam values, then uh, normally a repeat theater in the same suit is actually a sign off and responder will normally treat it as that. OK, any questions so far on theta? While you are deciding whether to ask me a question, I shall have another quick bite of my Chinese. OK, so if we make a theta ask, it's a crispy shredded chili chicken with a young chow fried rice. And it's very nice. Somebody. Mr. Loot. Okay, so normal rules for um, established asking bids apply. If we agree a suit via delta, uh, via theta, then relay beta and epsilons are available over that positive response. And if we use a repeat theta in the same suit, then that sets the suit as trumped, and again, relay beta is available over the repeat theta response and epsilons thereafter. So it's exactly the same as with any other trump asking bid. Once we agree trumps, the other trump asking bids go out of the window. Beta is available if we need it, and epsilons are available thereafter. So uh, Jason and I decided that we needed to keep delta and theta thematically separate because delta is always 24 plus in principle and it's a primary trump ask. In other words, it can be used to kick off an asking bid sequence. But theta is a secondary trump ask, certainly in the simple system. And it doesn't promise any additional strength. In other words, uh, excuse me a second. Um, in other words, the use of theta might just be a 16 count still. Um, and it has to be preceded by a different tasking bit. And IOTA is essentially the same as that. <coughs> just one second, guys. Yes, I will. OK. Um, OK, any questions at all on Theta before we move on to IOTA? Anything that you don't think that I've explained quite clearly enough or anything's, anything that you're unsure of? OK. Oh. 
sorry, ignore that last example. I think, I don't know why I've written that. Because two spades actually there is gamma, not theta, not either of them. Um, sorry, that's a senior moment um, whenever I wrote these notes originally, which must have been quite a few years ago. Uh, Okay, so where where the responses started off, one club, one spade, showing a balanced hand. Any any bid at all that would in principle be theta is actually iota, including repeat uh, it is gamma, you're absolutely right, Paula. Um, again, I'd be grateful if somebody can just relay stuff to, to Paula because she doesn't normally have voice enabled. Um, okay, so even a repeat alpha in the same suit, okay, is an iota if responder has shown a balanced hand. So supposing it starts off one club, one spade, two clubs, alpha, two diamonds, no support, naught to three controls, and then three clubs. In principle, that's a theta, because it's a repeat alpha in the same suit. But in practice, it's an iota, because uh, responder cannot have a singleton or void here, because they've shown a balanced hand with their one spade response. So absolutely, any bid, if responder shown a balanced hand, any bid at all that would normally be thought of as theta is actually iota. Excuse me a second, I've just got a recalcitrant poodle trying to steal my Chinese. Go away. Go on, bet. I don't know. I can't even eat my dinner in peace. <laughs> All I'm surrounded, but it's like being circled by sharks, this. Go away. You're not getting any. <laughs> okay. Right, I've got a standard poodle called Pepper. Who's a, a big, a big poodle. I've got a, a Yorkshire Terrier called Scampy. And a sort of staffy cross thingy called Millie that we've inherited from Naomi's mother um, and I, I'm surrounded by them at the moment they're all looking at me and trying to steal my dinner it's not fair I'm gonna eat it before they have it okay no well oh, yeah okay so Originally, everything was theta, and then we created iota because there was no point in having a theta scale that in, admitted the possibility of responder having a singleton or void if they'd shown a balanced hand. That's, that was the original reason why we created iota. Okay, the other time, so if, if responder's known to be balanced, it's iota. The other time is that if we've, if we've originally had an alpha, delta, theta, or iota in practice, um, and then we get a repeat in a new suit over a negative response, then regardless of responders known shape i.e. whether they're known to be single uh, balanced or not a repeat in a new suit is iota 
So there you had a, the first example there. It goes one club, one heart, one no trump, low level beta, two hearts showing four controls, two spades theta. And it is theta because one heart doesn't have to be balanced. Three clubs showing a singleton top honor or two small. And then three diamonds, a new suit over the negative theta, res theta ask, theta response. So three diamonds is iota. In the second example, we had an alpha ask, negative response to alpha, and then a new suit. And that's also iota. As I've said there, the response, the reason for for using iota rather than theta is that if responder doesn't have support for our first suit, it's much less likely that they're going to have a singleton or a void in our second suit. It's not impossible, but it's much less likely. And so we try to uh save a little bit of space by using iota rather than theta it's only saving us one step but sometimes that one step that we save is absolutely crucial okay so let's have a look at the uh, the step responses to iota Close down and restart, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see there, the two-step response is the same as the three-step response for delta and theta. And so all the other steps, all the other responses from two steps onwards are just one cheaper than the equivalent part of the delta and theta scale. So the difference is in the one step response, which shows less than a top on a doubleton or three small. So if responders known to be balanced, that's right, Paula. Okay, um, so if responders known to be balanced, then that one step response effectively shows a small doubleton. That's the only possible holding they can have that is less than a doubleton top honor or three small, because they can't have a singleton or void, they can't have a singleton top honor. However, if the iota is, sorry, if the original theta, sorry, if the original iota was a repeat alpha in a different suit, so supposing we, we have an alpha in spades, a negative response, and then two spades, okay? then that's a repeat alpha in the same suit. That is iota. Sorry, that is... What am I talking about? Sorry, my apologies. I've, I've misspoken myself there. If we get a repeat alpha in a different suit, which is therefore iota, but where responder isn't known to be balanced then we are using that iota scale so the one step response is less than a doubleton top honor or three small but now it is possible that they've got a singleton or a void or a singleton top honor as well as possibly having two small if they make a one step response to that iota so if we get a repeat iota it uses a a special scale which I'll come to in a minute everybody with me so far
Okay, so that explains actually what I was trying to say before. So if responder is known to be balanced, then the one step response is always showing too small. Where, however, responder isn't known to be balanced, and the bid is iota because it's a repeat trump ask in a different suit, in other words, a repeat alpha in a different suit, or a repeat theta in a different suit, we use iota because it's less likely that partners got a singleton or void there, but we have to admit to the possibility that they do have one. Um, so where they're not known to be balanced, and it is, uh, the, the iota is actually a repeat alpha or theta in a different suit, then the one-step response can be any of those four holdings, void, small singleton, singleton top honor, or too small. Um, so when we look at repeat asks in a minute, you'll see the different scale that we use in those circumstances. Okay, so here we had a positive response of one heart, one spades alpha, two clubs, negative response showing four plus controls, and then two diamonds, iota. So it is iota because it's a repeat alpha in a different suit, but responder isn't known to be balanced. For all we know, they might have a massive heart club two suitor, not have support for uh, our spades, but actually have a singleton or a void in diamonds. Not impossible, but it's less likely. So we use alpha because, sorry, we use iota with the two diamonds because it's less likely. But now when it goes two hearts, showing less than top on a doubleton or three small, if we have a repeat iota, the three diamonds is a repeat iota in diamonds, but now we have to acknowledge that the step responses can be, or rather the responders holding can be any of those four things, void, small singleton, singleton top honor, or too small. And so the step responses for a repeat iota in the same suit, in those circumstances, is a different. Okay. <coughs> okay, so here we had a response of one spade, which shows a balanced hand. Then we had two spades alpha, Three clubs, negative response to spades, but four or more controls. Three diamonds iota. Three hearts showing less than top on a, or three small. And then it uh, should be four diamonds, a repeat iota in the same suit. But now, two diamonds is still iota because it's a repeat in a different suit. But we do know that responder is balanced. So actually, all this repeat iota is actually doing is saying, have you got, we know that responder's got too small. What it, effectively, it's doing two things. One, it's confirming diamonds as trumps. But secondly, it's also saying, have you got the jack? So responder would go one step without the jack and two steps with jack X.
Everybody clear so far? Clear as mud, probably. So as I said before, with uh, with Theta, any repeat iota, whether it showed a positive, whether the initial iota showed a positive response or a negative response, any repeat iota in the same suit always sets the suit as trumps. Um, so in in both of those sequences that I showed before, the repeat iota in diamonds set diamonds as trumps whatever the response to that repeat iota and whatever the response to the initial iota okay so bear in mind that with theta a four-step response is needed to agree the suit immediately with IOTA, it's a three-step response. So any response that shows two top honors doubleton or three to a top honor or, or more agrees the suit as trumps initially. And as I've said there, please uh, just note that with uh, theta and IOTA and delta, a holding of two top honors doubleton is sufficient to agree the suitors trumps. Um, whereas with alpha, it's not. Okay, so really, apart from the conditions for repeat asks in in the same suit, the rules for iota and theta are essentially identical. Um, any any holding that uh, shows two top honors doubleton or three to a top honor agrees the suit. Uh, once we agree a suit by means of iota or theta or delta for that matter, relay beat is available over the positive response or the repeat iota response that that has set the suit as trumps. Uh, we can then have relay beta and epsilons are thereafter available. Okay, any questions about IOTA? Here's an example of IOTA. Which ones? Greek alphabet. It's the Greek alphabet. Why you chose them? Also, me the chosen. For 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 super precision. Sorry, just guys. Name is just asking a question. Yeah, no. For super precision, they are a recognised means of defining the asking bits. Not everybody uses them, but it's an accepted. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so here we've got a low level beta, followed by uh, a two down response, and then two spades. If uh, the positive response hadn't been one spade, then the two spades would be theta. But because responders shown a balanced hand by bidding one spade, two spades is iota. Because any bid that would otherwise be theta is immediately converted to iota if responder is known to have a balanced hand. So there we've got a three-step iota response showing two top honors doubleton or three to a top honor uh, in spades, and that agrees spades as trumps. So there's no need here. North knows exactly that south has got three to the king in spades. There's no need for them to bid it again just to agree the suit as trumps because a three-step response to iota agrees the suit. bit bean balance here. First step is. Right, so effectively, can somebody just tell Paula, effectively, yes, she's right, but technically, the first step response to IOTA shows less than uh, high X or three small. Yes, when responder is shown a, uh, uh, a balanced hand, effectively, it does show a doubleton, a small doubleton. Um, but in theory, it's still showing less than high X or XXX. So two no trumps over two spades. Two no trumps would show a small doubleton or less than high X or XXX. Three clubs would show exactly a doubleton top honor or three small and that still wouldn't agree the suit but then the three diamond three step response shows two top honors doubleton or three to a top honor and that does agree the suit is trumps Okay, what would three hearts be here, anybody? Somebody shout up while I eat my last bit of crispy chili chicken. Anybody think three hearts would be relay beta? Right, can't be relay beta because two diamonds showed exactly three controls. So three hearts here would be epsilon. So in fact, although I put first round control there, actually four hearts here must be exactly, exactly that in hearts. Might have four hearts, but it can't be a void. So it must be the ace of hearts with at least two other small ones. Yes, I'm not saying we would be doing what I'm saying here. 
and in practice we wouldn't bother with three hearts here I just wanted to make the point about relay beta not being available Sorry. Okay, let's have one more example. Okay, so here, three hearts is theta. Okay, because uh, there's been no previous Trump asking bid, so it's not a repeat alpha or a repeat anything else. We've just used, um, sorry, what am I talking about? Yeah, sorry miles away <coughs> so um, two clubs was uh, beta over one low trump two hearts showed three controls so now three hearts is theta not iota uh, west is not known to be balanced and so we have a pure theta ask just one second Sorry guys, just bear with me a second, there's uh, something gone wrong with my system here. Alright, that's sorted it. Okay, sorry. Um, Sorry, my mouse was misbehaving. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> my computer's coming out in sympathy with Name is Machine, which has been lagging and freezing for the last couple of days, and we can't figure out why. Um, 
Okay, so three hearts is a pure theta. Four hearts, the uh, five step response. Sorry, um, you're quite right, John. Thank you. Sorry. No, that's right. Um, no, that's right, John. Sorry. Four diamonds would be four small. Four hearts is uh, two top honours with three cards or four to one top honours. Oh, sorry, it's theta. No, you're quite right. Sorry. Uh, you're right, it is four spades. Just one second. You're quite right, sorry. I'm fine. Um, right, so yeah, three hearts is theta, not iota. So it's four spades and not four hearts. Um, so now again, uh, epsilons are the only, the only ask that's really available here. Uh, if East bids five hearts here, um, we certainly haven't established slam values, so that would just be to play in hearts. And uh, East, knowing that um, we're missing at least uh, sorry, exactly four controls, I think it is. One, two, three. Um, sorry, my brain's gone to sleep. Five, eight. I'm missing at least, well, I'm missing exactly four controls. No, but no good to pass over four hearts. Not sure what you're saying, Paula. Oh, she hasn't got voice. Just hang on a minute. Right, if you hear the sound of a poodle shredding a, a, No, it is, but it is risky, but, but you don't have any, because basically, if somebody can ex just explain to, to Paula for me, okay, I'll come back to you in a second, Ellie. Um, just going to, to Paula's thing. Obviously, East wasn't anticipating a response as good as four spades. It's very nice, but it's actually inconvenient. Um, it would have been nicer if West had shown four small hearts by bidding four hearts. Because in that case, it means he's either got the King of Spades or the King of Diamonds. Or something like that. Um, and that would have been fine. 
you can imagine three three losers either in spades or diamonds or clubs. No, I wouldn't say it is. It it works out better. Just one second, I'm gonna have to type this. I hate people who, who not people I hate it when people don't have voice and they can't hear because it didn't work for her. Um, just one second while I just type this out. Okay, if, if we were going to end up agreeing diamonds and not hearts, then alpha actually wouldn't work out too well. Okay, you see what I mean? It, it, alpha works better here because it happens that West has got really good support for hearts. If they had no good support for hearts, it would end up as, as potentially uh, more expensive... And it may well even be that we wouldn't actually end up agreeing anything. And because East would just sign off in three no trumps. But um, it's easy to say, oh, well, that works better. But, of course, at the table, you don't know exactly how the sequence is going to go. So, yes, over four spades, five hearts is to play. And like I said, here we haven't established slam values. Um, and, uh, and so five hearts is definitely a sign-off. If we'd had a different sequence and say West had shown, I don't know, six controls or something, then it's possible that they would treat five hearts as a repeat theta, saying, have you got two top honours doubled, sorry, two top honours to a three card suit, or have you got four small? But when the support is that good, it's n unlikely. It's much less likely to be a repeat theta. Uh, you don't often get repeat thetas where you've had a positive uh, initial response to the theta. Bear with me a minute. I think we'll do a... Uh, and you might even be one off here. Other ways that this could proceed, uh, of course, would be a 2 no trump bid over the two hearts and now we just agree hearts naturally and end up playing at the four level same comments as before east doesn't know that he's going to get a very expensive response to uh, three hearts uh, and yes bidding two no trumps over two hearts does work better the trouble is it turns off asking bids um, but that would be another way to go. I'll just undo, or I'll just send the hand again.
Now I download that radio, have to look OCP. Can we, is there an interpreter in the house? I don't understand that. <laughs> I think she is on an iPad, and that's the problem. Um, and actually, I, I mean, personally, at the table, Two no trumps is probably how I would bid this hand. Um, if only because uh, if West, I'm not really primarily interested in spades. I've got stops elsewhere. Phil, um, Yes, we would potentially, um, but where where West isn't known to be balanced, and um, they might have six card spades for all we know. Two no trumps. Two no trumps is a um, uh, potentially. It's a more complete way of doing it because you you find out that West has got six spades if, or longer if they've got that. You find out if they've got hearts. Oh, Paul, I'm really grateful for that. <laughs> okay. Um, there's more than one, one way to skin a cat, Phil, is basically the bottom line to this. There are various ways that East can go. Uh, I would probably bid two no trumps before I bid uh, three hearts. Um, I'm not unhappy playing this in no trumps, but the trouble is if you bid three hearts, you might get a negative response, and now it's more difficult to reach this 6-2 spade fit if that's what there is. All right, it's no problem, Phil. I, I'm just, you know, it, it's a valid point that you made. Right, uh, it's a valid point that Phil makes that that you would potentially miss a five-three heart fit here. The trouble is, if you if you bid three hearts as as theta, you might well miss a six-two spade fit. The advantage of two no trumps is that you catch the times when you've actually got a diamond fit or a heart fit or a spade fit. But it, need, it would need to be a nine card heart fit or an eight card spade fit or an eight card, dim, uh, eight card diamond fit. In many respects, the two no trump handing over the captaincy is a more flexible way of approaching this. You pay your money and you take your choice. Okay. Uh, did we lead on this? I think we did, didn't we? And we claimed. Okay. Anybody got any questions about IOTA before we move on to a few notes on, uh, on these? Okay. Okay, theta and iota after a low-level beta are much more common than the use of alpha. Um, alpha is not nearly as common as you might think. Uh, it's always an option, and as usual, ASCA decides what how they want to proceed. Um, uh, 
but using using a low level beta and then theta or iota is much more common uh, and as I've said there the reason is that you end up with a much more precise picture uh, there are two aspects to alpha controls and support for the suit uh, when you look at controls you're either 0 to 3 or 4 plus where alpha is concerned so that's quite a wide range and to find out if you get a, a 0 to 3 response in respect of an alpha response then you're definitely going to need um, a later beta because there's that wide range whereas if you know if you get a low level beta response it's 0 to 2 if it's a range response and that may be enough to decide you that actually you can't afford to go past game you don't even necessarily need to use beta but the wider range for the alpha response is less precise when it comes to support uh, again theta and iota give you a much more precise idea of exactly how good responders holding in your suit is so a low level beta and then theta or iota gives you a much more precise picture of partner's hand uh, than alpha does okay the other side of that particular coin as I've said there uh, when you've got for example a distributional two suitor it's very often more efficient to use alpha and then uh, an iota in a different suit say again Amy next door I think um, yeah if you've got a big two suitor alpha is normally more efficient no they just bid three no trumps while it over two no trumps it would just go one club one no trump two clubs two hearts two no trumps handing over the captaincy three no trumps semi balanced with five card spades in other words five three three two haven't got a second card suit haven't got a sixth spade okay okay the other time when it can be more efficient to use alpha is when responder starts to think about the responses they might get to a low level beta um, you might judge for example that the response to beta is going to take you just beyond your suit in other words your um, your theta is going to be very expensive or your theta or iota is going to be very expensive um, over the beta response um, that that does happen quite often um, particularly when you're um, say you've had a a one spade response and you've got a a red suit that you want to ask about you might not want to bid two clubs because if it goes if the response is two diamonds or two hearts showing three or four controls uh, that might stop you from asking in your red suit below the three level so you might decide to use uh, two hearts or two diamonds alpha instead of using beta and then uh, and then theta or iota
Okay, this is this is slightly more advanced, and it has to do with uh, Opener assessing how many controls they have in their hand, and in the light of the repos positive response, how many controls Responder is likely to have in their hand. If if Opener's hand is very rich in controls, it's much more likely that Respondo is going to be quite poor in controls and therefore a low level beta and then a theta might be much more attractive but if uh, opener is actually quite weak in controls it's much more likely that responders got a decent number of controls for their positive response if, if opener's hand is full of kings queens or queens and jacks and uh, a few kings it's much more likely that responders positive is based on maybe two aces or an ace and two kings uh, and so that can affect our anticipation of what a low level beta response would be if you think that that low level beta response is going to make it impossible for you to hand over the captaincy and that's what you're potentially wanting to do then that uh, that might affect your attitude towards whether you use alpha or whether you use um, a low level beta it might be better to use alpha get a negative response and still potentially uh, be able to hand over the captaincy over the alpha response Okay. <laughs> a repeat theta in the same suit always sets the suit as trumps. But if the theta is a repeat alpha in the same suit, that isn't. It, it, it's an initial theta. not a repeat theta so if it's a say if it, if a theta is a repeat alpha in the same suit then we need a response that shows high x or three small in order to agree the suit But if the uh, if the repeat theta is a pure repeat theta after an initial theta, then that's always setting the suit as trumps, whatever responder said. So if you get a theta ask that gets a response of singleton top honor or too small, then a repeat theta in the same suit is always setting that suit as trumps whether responder shows with a singleton honor or too small but where a theta is a repeat alpha in the same suit we need a response that shows a doubleton top honor or three small to agree the suit everybody clear on that so where a theta is a repeat alpha in the same suit, the rules for Trump agreement are a bit different than otherwise. So here's an example. So here we have one heart positive response, one spade alpha, two clubs, no support, four plus controls, two spades theta. So that's an initial theta that's actually a repeat alpha. In the same suit so three clubs shows a singleton honor or too small that doesn't agree the suit as trumps but now three spades is a repeat theta and it sets spades as trumps whatever the response so we've had 
effectively three asks in spades here to get spades agreed. You look at the second example, one club, one heart, one spade alpha, two clubs, no support, two spades theta, three clubs showing uh, singleton top honor or two small, three hearts. Three hearts is gamma now, it's not anything else because uh, we haven't agreed Asusa's trumps because three clubs doesn't agree spades and it's a bid in responders hearts and in those cases it's always gamma. Okay, so theta and delta need a four-step response. Iota needs a three-step response to agree the suitors trumps initially. Please bear in mind, I, I did mention this last week in respect of delta. Um, the rules for trump agreement are predicated on uh, the assumption that we're going to use these asking bids with five plus, five card or longer suits. Very occasionally, you will need to do it with a four card suit because it's not practical, for example, to use handing over the captaincy, but you need to make an ask in a second suit rather than signing off in three no trumps. Um, so you might occasionally have to do it in, with a four card suit. The other time is with Delta when you've got a very, very, very strong Four for four one. In other words, you're 24 plus, and you need to open one club and then use delta. Um, but just bear in mind that the the rules for for trump agreement with theta and iota and delta assume that you're going to do it with a five card suit. If you do it with a four card suit, it's at your peril because you can potentially uh, agree the suit with a doubleton top on a sorry two top on as doubleton offers it uh, go on Ali you had a question Maybe not, John. Ellie sounded like she might have a question. Don't apologise. Uh, I'm sorry for it. There's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, with Roger's help, we've got this set up to reduce the voice lag to an absolute minimum. Um, I think it's uh, potentially to do with the bandwidth at your end. Um, I've got pretty massive bandwidth at my end, and we're using the settings on the uh, Adobe Flash Media that uh, provide us with the biggest bandwidth uh, we can to reduce the lag. <coughs> Okay, uh, moving on. So better, it's if you've got the space to do so, it is normally better to hand over the captaincy rather than making a theta or iota. Uh, it would normally be an iota in a four-card suit. Um, like I said, sometimes it is the only option. Um, but if you do have an option, it's normally better to hand over the captaincy. So, for example, on this particular hand that's shown, if we change East's hand slightly to have four card hearts and five card diamonds, now I would very definitely hand over the captaincy here because 
I only really want to consider being in no trumps, sorry, in diamonds rather than no trumps if responders either got four card hearts or at least four card diamonds. For five diamonds to be attractive, we want to have at least a nine card fit in diamonds. So now two no trumps works very well because we find out if West does have a, a four card red suit and we also find out if they've got six card spades but otherwise we're happy to play in three no trumps okay so there are some situations where the system notes specify that a bid is theta but bear in mind, if responder has shown a balanced hand, any bid that would otherwise be theta and which is shown in the notes as being theta is in fact iota because they can't have a singleton or void. So it's any bid that would otherwise be theta is always iota if responder is known to be balanced. Okay, I won't example, well, in fact, they're not here. Somebody once uh, sent me a demonstration hand where they'd made a theta ask in the, at the four level in a three-card suit to check if partner had a stop in the suit. Okay. The fact is, if you abuse this system, you will get bitten more often than not. Okay, you might come out smelling of roses, but if you start asking in three card suits, particularly just to check if partner's got a stop in the suit for the purposes of playing in no trumps, that is what I would term system abuse. And uh, on the occasion that I mentioned uh, the hand that uh, this person sent me, they ended up in a completely ridiculous contract. And uh, if you start doing it with three card suits or even four card suits, you can end up agreeing a suit as trumps, which affects the whole of the subsequent sequence, but you may not have the space to be able to get yourself out of trouble or to get yourself out of agreeing that suit as trumps. So please just don't do it. Theta and Iota are supposed to be made, the Trump asking bids, which are supposed to be made when you have a five card holding in the suit or longer. It is occasionally acceptable and inevitable that you will do it with a four card suit and there's sometimes when there's no other way that you can actually bid but normally you should try and only use it with five card suits. Okay, anybody got any questions? on theta or iota before we practice a few hands. <laughs> yes, there is a limit, Paul. The limit is uh, three. Because there are only four suits in the pack. Um, I don't ever remember, well, it is three for, for new suit IOTA asks. If you've made an initial alpha or a theta, um, then there's potentially, if responder showed a balanced hand initially, in theory, uh, you could make three new suit IOTA asks 
after your initial alpha or theta or iota. So, I mean, you can ask in four suits, potentially. If responder's shown a suit, then it's, it's, it's three suits that you can ask in because the fourth suit is going to be gamma in their uh, suit if uh, you've not yet agreed a, a trump suit. Normally, two is the absolute maximum because by that point, you're going to be... Um, I'm just trying to think of it. One club, one heart, one spade, one no trump. Sorry, one club, one spade, one no trump. Um, two hearts, two spades, theta. Two no trumps, three hearts, three spades, four diamonds. Some response, five clubs. So your third iota would be at game level in clubs but that would still be iota it wouldn't be a sign off in clubs potentially it does depend you might find that responder would actually pass five clubs um, because if they haven't got support for any of the other three suits the likelihood is that they have five card clubs and the response might be just too appalling to imagine over five clubs it might be seven clubs that they'd respond regardless of how many controls because they're going to have uh, a five card or longer holding in the suit and if they had a relatively minimum Yes, Ellie, definitely. And and if you had a four card major, I would be more inclined to try and hand over the captaincy rather than asking in the four card major. Because you're safe that way. If you if partners shown a suit or or shown a balanced hand that's one of the times when you might make a, an alpha in your five card minor anticipating a negative response and now you can probably uh, hand over the captaincy with two no trumps and find out whether you've got a, an eight, a four four fit in your major that's one of the, the sequences I alluded before where alpha can work better than beta and then theta is where you've got a five card minor and four card major you might well use alpha in the minor because then you will have probably the space to bid two no trumps handing over the captaincy and agree your major by normal means rather than asking bid means okay so you might have a sequence of one club, one spade, and opener's got five card or six card clubs and a four card major. Over one spade, if the bid won no trump. Yes, I, I mean, it's, it's a fairly common theme and it's a very useful hand if it's come up in practice because it does, it does show the reasoning why you have to think about what the likely responses are going to be before you decide on the route you're going to choose for your asking bid sequences and uh, that's one situation where alpha generally outperforms beta and then theta uh, if you've got a four card major and a longer minor it's normally better to make an alpha in the minor and then hand over the captaincy because that way you're not going to miss the four four fit in your major and as I said just now using theta or iota in a four card suit is dangerous because a holding opposite of two top honors doubleton or three to a top honor will agree the suit i have no great fear of motion fits if it's uh the best fit available but a four two fit of trumps is uh, a burns law violation
Well, okay, well, it's, uh, if, if it's worked... Hang on a second. If Alpha, no agree. Repulse Alpha, same suit, no agree. Yes, John, at, at the moment, that is true. But as I've said in that forum post, and I think I said it uh, in, in the lesson on Alpha, we have been moving away from the idea of asking bids lapsing over the years. Um, uh, this is a, an issue that has been discussed recently or mentioned. If you use an alpha and then a repeat alpha in the same suit that gets a negative response, the system is that asking bids lapse at that point. If you make an alpha and then a repeat in a different suit, asking bids are still alive, even if you get a negative response to your second suit. You can potentially ask in a third suit if you've got one. But if you do a repeat alpha in the same suit and get a negative response, then apart from a second repeat theta in your original suit, which would set the suit as trumps, asking bids lapse and as the way the system stands at the moment, strictly speaking, you shouldn't be able to make another asking bid in a new suit now. But uh, this is an issue that is actively being reconsidered at the moment um, in response to a, thought, a forum post because Okay, I mean, that is that is the issue, John, and it's not certain. Uh, as I've explained in that forum post, there are fairly good reasons why the system was set up the way it is at the moment. Um, it's not something that I can really explain here. If you're interested, try and find the thread in the OCP forums. Um, I can't remember what it's titled at the moment. Uh, there are very good reasons why asking bids were set to lapse because if you if you if you do a repeat alpha in a different suit you can then make a repeat alpha in the same suit if you're below game level and uh, and go back to your original suit and make a repeat theta but if you make a repeat theta in the same suit first the assumption is that you don't have a second suit. And also, at that point, you're likely to be at, at or very near game level. Um, and as John says there, you can set yourself up to fail if you don't actually lapse asking bids at that point. And you could then bid a new suit naturally and it's open to responder to pass it if it's at game level rather than being forced to respond something just because they've got a preference for your second suit. That's the reason it was set up like that. Um, it is under consideration at the moment, but I'll be honest, I don't think it's likely that the official system is actually going to change, even though we have gradually moved away from a strict interpretation of that. As I've said in the things, I can't honestly hand on heart say that I've never, um, that I've never bid a repeat theta, a repeat alpha in the same suit and then bid a new suit um, as being natural rather than a, uh, an iota in a new suit. Uh, I, I can't say honestly hand on heart, I've never done that. I don't think so, but uh, over the years, it's something that's sort of gone into the background. It is still there in the system, but because it doesn't happen very often, uh, uh, it's quite possible. I've, I've seen other people do it um, when I've been kibitzing, uh, watching other OCP pairs, 
and they've had that kind of a sequence and uh, it's been clear that it's been meant as an asking bid because of the alert and it's been treated as an asking bid. Okay, can I have uh, three more quickly and then we'll get a few hands in before uh, midnight. Come on guys, don't be shy, please. Just jump in there. Whether this is your first time through or not, um, I don't mind. Thank you, Mr. Loot. Thanks, Esther. Anybody else? A fourth, please. Come on, one more. I don't want to have to sit myself. It's no fun for me. Firstly, I can see all 52 cards and I set the hands, so um, it's no fun for me to do it. Come on, somebody, please. Sanya, Nuri, Walid, come on guys, get your feet wet. Thanks Barry. <laughs> well, Barry jumped in. Okay guys, uh, let's try a few of these, we'll just try and... Okay, let's have a go at this one. And just because the title of uh, this lesson is Theta and Iota, it doesn't mean to say you have to use one of those. If you think you'd rather go a different route, then please feel free. You may be asked to justify your decision afterwards, but uh, there is usually more than one way of skinning a particular cat. So if you think it's going to use, it better be better using alpha or some other method, then uh, go for it. Practices they won't await our grand grandchildren at you two. Sorry, Sanya, I don't follow that. So we're using, so three diamonds here is Iota, because John showed a balanced hand. So over three diamonds, three hearts would show basically a doubleton diamond. Three spades shows high X or three small. And three no trumps here shows two top honors doubleton or three to a top honor. Of course, South knows exactly which of the three it is. Right, I understand that, uh, Ellie. I still don't quite understand the comment about awaiting your great-great-grandchildren. <laughs> so, something got lost in translation there. Uh, five diamonds, John. Yeah. 
Il est à 5 heures. Okay, well done guys. Can we have a lead and a claim? I do have one observation here. Thanks Paula, well done. Okay, one very slight criticism here. Suppose North has the Queen of Spades rather than a Doubleton. In th well, the info here is that South can afford to bid five spades over five clubs. If they're going to bid seven diamonds anyway, and, and they can tell that seven diamonds is going to make. Well, the thing is, Paula, is if North has, has got a doubleton spade then yes, you want to be in seven diamonds. But if they've got the queen of spades, you want to be in seven no trumps. Because south knows that north must have the ace of hearts and must have the ace of clubs. If they've got four controls, that's all they can have. We know they've got queen to three diamonds. Is it impossible that they've got queen to three spades? No, it's not. And seven no trumps, by definition, is safer than seven diamonds. Right, but they haven't denied having the queen of spades. That's the point. Seven no trumps is always safer than seven diamonds here if you know you've got 13 tricks on top because you can't get an opening rough. You know that the diamonds are solid. You know they've got the ace of hearts. You know they've got the ace of clubs. If they've got the Queen of Spades, you want to be in seven no trumps here. Exactly. That's right. And you can afford to ask again in spades. That's the point. Okay. All righty, but well done. A lot of people won't get to seven diamonds there. The other possibility there, Paula, was, was potentially you could have bid two diamonds alpha over one spade rather than two clubs um, because uh, you could be reasonably certain that over one no trump, well, no, you couldn't be certain, but it would be unlikely that you're going to get a two diamond. Yes, that's right, Paula. Yeah. Second Epsilon in spades would be better. And you could have considered using two diamonds alpha rather than one no trump and then a theta. We love people who double in our asking bid sequences. So here, Barry could pass the double. That would be beta, a low-level beta, which gives us uh, a lot of extra bidding space. Or they can redouble, which would be alpha in hearts. which would also save us a lot of bidding space. Or they could bid two clubs, which would be alpha in clubs. 
So there's your three options, Barry. That's the one I would choose. Okay, so redouble is alpha in hearts, the suit below spades. See if Esker can work this one out. Well done. Did she get the alert right? Well, she would have done. Okay, this is heart support with 0 to 3 controls. Okay, so hearts are agreed here. So here, two hearts would be sigma. Because of the rules on uh, sigma. Two spades would be relay beta. Using the weak scale. But, quite rightly... Barry ignores Relay Beta because it's not really going to help him if uh, East has got something like the King of Spades because it's going to be useless to him. But I might have considered using Sigma here. Well, that's nice to hear. So third round control of clubs. I think Barry is starting to see now why Sigma over two diamonds might have been more advisable. I know we haven't covered Sigma yet. Sigma is a bid that kicks in when we've had a positive response to Alpha. If we just want to check up on Trump's validity by finding out exactly how good partner support is. Okay, so four clubs was a repeat epsilon. Four diamonds shows that the third round control they showed with three hearts was just a doubleton without the queen. Yeah, exactly. That That's why. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to make a suggestion here. If Esther could just claim. So that everybody, including Barry, could uh, see the hands. Okay, I'm just going to type a sequence in here, which I think will be better than the one that we actually had. Okay, so Sigma is unashamedly slam investigating. Uh, as John rightly pointed out here, there's a huge range here for that three-step alpha response. It could be anything from four small to four to a top honor. It might even be five to a top honor. Okay. Um, And, and West is immediately thinking about potentially being in seven hearts here as soon as they get a positive response to their heart alpha. So the first thing really should be to double check on Trump solidity. So over two diamonds, two hearts uh, works better. Now that gets a three diamond response, which shows four to one top honor. Doesn't promise the jack. But you're now entitled to assume that the hearts are absolutely solid. So now four clubs, epsilon, four hearts, third round control. Do we care whether it's a doubleton or the queen? Not really. We're never going to want to be in uh, seven no trumps. But whether it's a doubleton or the queen, we want to be in seven hearts here. The chances of not establishing... Uh, the clubs are small enough that we ought to be in seven. Okay, any questions, anybody? Say again. More insulin required. Do you see my point, Barry? Yeah, don't ask me why. Don't ask me why Sigma. Ellie, I can't answer it. Um, uh, I can't remember what Diana and I were thinking of. I think it was Diana. Um, as to why we chose Sigma, I think it was because it was just way. It was because it was way out of order. I can't remember now. It's okay. I mean, we haven't come to Sigma yet. Um, <sighs> Sigma comes up in the next couple of weeks. But uh, that would be a better sequence than the one that Barry chose. Because he recognised that he couldn't be sure that Seven Hearts was really a good contract. Whereas actually, once you find out that East has got 
third round control of clubs and four to the queen in hearts, it becomes very good. Okay. Uh, next hand. I'll try one more and then I'm going to go to bed. Just hang on a minute. Because on Monday I'm up at quarter to six. If I if I don't go to bed if I go to bed too late tonight, there's no way I'm gonna be able to go to bed at quarter to ten tomorrow tomorrow evening and get any sleep, that's why. So I'm not I'm probably won't be immediately I finish here. But uh, I don't want to go to bed too late, that's all. And you want to be up early to go to the factory shop tomorrow? Do you not? Uh -huh. uh, right, sorry, another hand, quickly. Um, Okay, so two spades alpha. Okay, so uh, no support for spades, but four or more controls, which is good news for North, in one respect anyway. So now we have a repeat alpha in a different suit, which is always IOTA because it's a different suit. So like I said, this is Iota, not Theta. Uh, nope. Paula, one less, please. Like I said, this is Iota, not Theta. Four hearts would be correct if three hearts was Theta but it should be four diamonds when it's iota. Well done. Well worked out. He says. <laughs> this is something you just have to be on the ball about. In terms of remembering whether a particular bit is theta or iota. Because it does affect the responses.
So, so four diamonds agrees hearts as trumps, and it only shows one possibility, which is four small. So if North did bid four hearts here, it would be to play, potentially. Because it would be at game level. I don't think we can say we've definitely established slam values with four controls in the south hand. Uh, I think five clubs is wrong, uh, Paula. Sorry. What do you think four spades is? In fact, four spades, the alert is wrong. If you, John, I think you need to undo your alert or change your alert for four spades because it's relay beta, not epsilon. Yeah, John, you need to undo four spades. Or not undo four spades, but you need to change the alert. If you can. Oh, hang on. I'll tell you... No, can we start this again, guys? Sorry, something's got mucked up here. I'm just going to send this hand again. We can just start bidding it again quickly. There's something got mucked up there. Okay, so now three hearts. Okay, just stop there a minute after four diamonds. Okay, so here, four diamonds agrees hearts as trumps, but three clubs showed four or more controls. So four hearts would... Uh, it would be risky as a repeat uh, iota asking if South had the jack of hearts um, but in any case four spades is relay beta not epsilon there you go John carry on It's inconvenient, it would be nice, but you don't really want a relay beta here. Because if South has got the King of Clubs, it's no use really to you. You know they've got the Ace of Diamonds, you know they've got the Ace of Clubs. Um, they must have those. The only honour that you can possibly be missing is the King of Clubs, but it doesn't really help you. What matters is what they have in spades. But I think you just have to uh, go through four spades relay beta. <laughs> yes. I would bid four spades first, John. Only because it's less confusing for South if you do that. You know, you know that uh, North knows that South can only possibly bid four no trumps or five clubs in response to four spades because they can only have four or five controls. 
it's less confusing to bid four spades first and then five spades. That's exactly why I wouldn't do it. So now four no, four no trump shows exactly four controls. And now the meaning of five spades is absolutely obvious because it must be epsilon. And John's right. A jump shift into five spades would be invitational in spades. Forget about hearts. Whereas now five spades must be an epsilon. No, five spades is epsilon in spades. You've agreed hearts here, Paula. That's the whole point. If you if he jumped to five spades over four diamonds, it could potentially be to play. It might be construed as that. Safer to bid four no trumps when you know that the response to sorry, four spades rather, when you know that the response isn't going to go past five spades. And now five spades is definitely epsilon in spades so second round control of spades very good well done guys um Good sequence to finish off, even if it took us a couple of goes to get there. Um, okay, could we have a lead and a claim, please? Very good. Okay, uh, just before we finish, has anybody got any questions arising from any of the hands or anything else that's occurred to them about Theta and Iota? That they want to ask. Okay. I certainly will. I'm off tomorrow, which is nice, and off today. Yeah, don't. Uh, if you have got a regular partner that you're you're learning OCP with, um, no, don't worry, Sanya. I will uh, not forget that. I'll have a look at that tomorrow. Um, yeah, do use those partnership bidding tables. They're really helpful. You can set them up just for hands where you're going to be using asking bids and really get stuck in. Yeah. Okay, do get into the forums. It's a, a really valuable uh, facility that lots of really interesting discussions in there that you can look up, develops, you can see how the system is developing over time. Um, there is no practice this week on tomorrow night because uh, it's Easter. Um, but John will be resuming his practices next week, no doubt. So next week we have a look at Sigma, uh, which is a repeat alpha after a positive response. Um, that's one of the new kids on the block where asking bids are concerned, uh, but a very useful one, even if it's quite rare. Uh, have a really good Easter, you guys, and uh, I'll see you next week. Alrighty. Night all. See you soon.